Hey guys, I uh, want to give you a preview of uh, my Discord. Made a video about it. You're going to get information really soon in a day or two, maybe even tonight, sometime really, really soon, um, about uh, how you can join it. And But this video is a, kind of a preview. Uh, I want to talk about what, what I call a fake one-minute flag after bullish initiation. So this is a common long trap pattern that happens on the backside. Um, and I have this under bearish price action. So I have short patterns. This is stuff I made videos about, talked on my Twitter about. This is bearish price action where it's like sometimes it can be a pattern, but sometimes it's something that happens where I'm in, it's might not fit p pattern criteria, but I think it's bearish, right? And a lot of this stuff is stuff that looks super aggressive, super strong, but it's happening at really a key moment in time on the chart where even though it looks strong, it's actually super weak, right? And the biggest edge in short selling is always going to be seeing strength and thinking it's weak, always. That's where the biggest, biggest edge is, right? So uh, what is this pattern? Pattern's very simple. You got a over, super overextended stock. This is SMX from today. You get backside. And what you get is you get like very clear soak on the backside, right? There's some support level that's being held, right? It's being held, it's being held, it's being held. And long C it being held, long C, like, oh man, this support level could be a moving average, could be a, a trend line, see higher low, higher low. Longs love to see higher lows. Longs are always taught the higher lows are strong, right? Right, uh, but in low floats, uh, higher lows could be super weak, right? That's what, that's what leads to cracks like this. Um, but, uh, so what happens is they see support being held, being held, being held, the volume gets real low, and then suddenly you get this big relative volume initiation and pretty much every single retail long is going to think this is strong every single one and the thing about low floats is if a manipulated squeeze is going to happen like if this type of move which could it could have like this candle could have this like for example this green candle could have been you know a 10 percent green candle you never know you really never know until it happens um but the, the way manipulated moves work for example this green candle is they should happen almost right away they should be almost it manipulated long candles need to happen right away to catch people off guard right that's why they happen because they're unexpected people are they're surprised they don't let retail longs into the stock right so here's the here's the here's the liquidity thesis behind this pattern right you get a big aggressive move with big volume now what you want is you want to wait for it to top and do a low volume pullback. The point of this low volume pullback is it invites retail longs to hit the next leg up. They always come, they bring it down, usually to a common support level. In this case, it was VWAP, right? Retail longs love to see VWAP be held. Um, what retail longs would call a VWAP bacon break in base, where it breaks VWAP and then bases on it and then pushes. Common retail pattern. Um, but the way low floats work is if if all retail can see the long, it's not a good long, right? So big volume comes in, get the low volume pullback, usually get some type of flat top structure. Sometimes it breaks that flat top, sometimes it hits a hidden seller at the flat top. There's there's different kind of um there's different kind of uh uh situations, patterns, things that can happen. There's variations. There's, there's different types of variations that can happen. But the best ones are when you get a big aggressive push, gets a low volume pullback, it makes it breaks highs. Doesn't always happen, but it breaks highs by a few cents and then they pull it. So the point of this is to bait retail longs in the in the getting into the pattern, you shake them out and then you do the move, right? You'll see this constant you you shake out the obvious long pattern and then you do what I call the real long, right? So uh, we'll see this again and again. So it happens on backside a lot. Here's Perizio. So this was midday, does this big squeeze, pulls back. Here's a 1 minute 200, big relative volume, right? Here's a flat top, so I'm like, oh, maybe they go after that 2.5, but again, this is a variation, right? They pull it back, clean silk at 2.4, and then they do the next initiation. So a lot of longs are hitting this next initiation. I see it stall. I actually see them put 40,000 shares on the ask at 2.47, 2.48. I shorted this at 2.47, but I know high days all the way up here, 
This thing's heavily manipulated. It's also a theme stock, you know, the Israeli drone theme that is the war in, um, in Israel, uh, bringing in liquidity into these, into these, by the way, Israel stocks are heavily manipulated even without the war going on. So it's kind of a double whammy. Um, and, uh, and I know this has a lot, this, this has a lot of potential to be manipulated into all this space up here, right? So this is, this is why I treat this as a, as a scalp. Big, big high volume push. It's usually up only, just like SMX. Usually up only, big volume. Up only, big volume. You set some type of bullish pattern. In this case, it's this break right here. It starts, and then you show you what I'm doing as I'm reading the ask, I'm reading the tape, seeing what the volume's looking like, seeing what the buying's looking like. I saw that ask, I shorted 247, got filled. And then once this crack happened, full covered. So, because I know this is just a scalp. The 1 mid 200 is holding here. It's perfect, perfectly reasonable to think it might hold here. So, um, but yeah, that's a nice, what's nice about that is it's a nice predictable move. I probably would have risked even a little bit above 2.5 in case they did actually want to go and swipe it. Um, but in this case, they just held it, cracked, and that's that's an easy, uh, um, you know, 14, 15 cent um, short. Other examples, here's PMN from July. Big high volume push. Here's the retail long chase right here. No. Also, a very important factor is it has to already made a big squeeze of it to the left, right? Like you want a stock that has made a big parabolic move and now is in backside where you know retail longs are going to try to get the next, if they see volume come in, they think then they always think the next leg's coming, right? Because A, like the stock is so strong. Oh, look, there's volume coming into this. Oh, you know, and shorts are freaking out um, because, you know, shorts see the support level being held for, uh, hour hour and a half it's not breaking and then the volume comes into the upside they freak out they cover um retail longs you know logging into this into the second push with this volume um so it's just it's just a lot of retail covering or chasing long and uh they pay the price for it um again sometimes they have all one candle big relative volume pulls back makes a couple weak and again, a lot of times you don't get the second push above these highs. Sometimes you just get a little weak rotation crack, and then you actually do get a second crack here before it gets minted back up. Um, here's the VINO from last week. You know, made a big move, big pullback, supports holding, big, 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 big volume. Here's that candle. The, this the this one actually does break this flat top immediately gets rejected, rolls over and fades, right? So um, so there's many examples of this. Here's Beanox from last week. Now this one was really thin, but it did. I did actually scalp this from 4.8 to the uh, 4.5. Nice 30 cent scalp. Um, I see the big volume come in. I see the 4.8 painted level to the left too. So it hits that 4.8. Here's a retail chase. I literally just shorted this the moment it broke 4.8. Um, got instant confirmation. Here's that support level. It breaks to the downside. So um, just want to make a quick video, a little Discord preview. Uh, you guys will get information super soon. This is the type of stuff I'm putting in it. Um, and yeah, if you think that's interesting, watch that video and, and you'll find out how to join and all that type of stuff. So great scalp pattern. Love this pattern. Um, and it's also it's just a great example of, of understanding, you know, what looks like super bullish backside action, but um, it's an A plus short, right? High volume push, breaks the top, rolls back over. You see it over and over again. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for, uh, for the vid. It's coming out soon. All right, see you guys.